So the three main types of cost sharing are mandatory cost sharing, voluntary cost sharing, involuntary uncommitted cost sharing. And I, I make those notes. I'm going to go into them in more detail. But I, I want to sort of note here that salary cap is also mentioned. So you will hear terminology associated with salary cap cost sharing or cap gap cost sharing. And, and that, that's fine. Um, we're typically talking about the NIH salary cap there, right? Uh, but, but one notable item I want to highlight today is that technically we don't really necessarily want to use salary cap cost sharing as traditional cost sharing, right? Because for cost sharing to be considered allowable under a sponsored program, um, it needs to be an allowable cost on the sponsor budget side. And when you have a salary cap limitation, that is not an allowable cost on the sponsor side. So I make that note. Um, I'll generally call that sort of an over-the-cap commitment. Um, and it's not entirely wrong to reference it as cap gap cost sharing. I think that's reasonable terminology. But just want to put that carve out there because I think it underscores the other point which is that if you are going to commit cost sharing under a sponsored program, all of the items that are cost shared must be considered allowable, allocable, reasonably treated, etc., underneath the sponsored costs as well. And that's an important piece to pay attention to.